guys, welcome to my channel. So today I did um, record myself doing this eye look for you guys. So it's just a nice, bold, summery eye look with a nude, glossy lip. So I hope you guys like it. Somebody down in the comments of one of my videos um, requested that I do a colorful look. So I came up with this and I hope you guys like it. So if you want to see how I got this, then please keep watching. Hi guys, so I'm starting off with um, my eyelids primed already and we're going to dive into this white eyeshadow. It is the shade Porcelain by Morphe and it's just a matte white eyeshadow. I really like this one a lot, as you can tell I've already hit pan. So I'm going to be packing this underneath my brow bone and then we're going to go into the shade Promise by Davina Cosmetics. It's a matte, like pale pink shade, and it's super creamy and easy to blend, and I really, really love this shade as a background transition shade. So I'm buffing this above the crease, and then I blend it down into the crease. So yeah, just blow it out. It's really light, so it's really easy to blow out without messing up. So yeah, just blend, blend, blend. I love the like, just girliness it adds to any look I use it in. So this is Rosewood by Morphe and it's a really pretty like purpley berry color and I love using this in my crease. So I'm putting this into my crease and blending it into Promise. So that's a clean brush right there and I'm just blending it um, to really blow it out. I don't want it overly dark but yeah I'm just I keep going back and forth dipping my brush and then like buffing it out. I cannot talk. <laughs> so yeah, just put it in the crease and then really buff it out and then dip back more, get more in the crease and then really buff it out to just really have a nice blown out like berry shade in the crease. So yeah, blend, blend your butts off. And then this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Silver Strike. I'm going to be using this as a color base for my lid shade. So with my finger, I'm just putting it all over my lid. It is super metallic and pigmented. It's a really pretty shade on its own. But we're going to be putting another shade right on top of it. This is the shade um, ST... F U. I don't know. I'll leave it down below. Um, but it's by Davina Cosmetics. It's a beautiful blue shimmery shade. So I'm going to be packing this onto the entire lid and running the brush along my socket to make sure my entire lid is covered with this beautiful blue shade. It is so pretty, especially on top of a cream. Br uh, I can't talk. Oh my gosh, a cream base. It just really intensifies it. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. So yeah, just pack it on. And then this is the shade Booberry from Makeup Geek. I'm gonna be using this just around my socket to blend out the harsh line, but I'm not um, blending it upwards at all. I'm just running my brush along my socket to soften that harsh line. It's a really, really nice blue shade. So yeah, just keep it really tight in there. And then this is the shade Push from Davina Cosmetics. I'm gonna be putting this into the crease as well. And um, it's just gonna help the blue transition into the berry shade a little bit better by adding a purple in between there. So I'm just keeping it pretty tight into my crease and then taking a clean brush and blending any harsh lines. And yeah, so then we're gonna use this Marc Jacobs a gel eyeliner. It's like a little sample from Sephora and I'm tight lining with it. It's so nice of an eyeliner. It just glides on so good. So yeah, just tight line. It makes your lashes look thicker. And then we're going to go back into Booberry and I'm going to be using this and the shade Push on my lower lash line. So I'm first taking Booberry and I'm putting it in my actual waterline instead of using a liner. I'm just placing this right on my waterline and then I put a little bit on the lower lash line and then buff it out with the purple shade push and all blended together it just makes a really beautiful purpley blue shade so yeah just take your time and first put the blue and then the purple right on top and then I'm gonna be going in with this I will leave it down below I think this is Mac nylon I forgot I will leave it down below though and I'm putting that on my inner tear duct and then I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal telescopic mascara and I'm gonna be prepping my lashes for my falsies or no actually I think that inner tear duct is shimmer shimmer by makeup geek duh I completely forgot so yeah I'm gonna be using these um, lashes right here they're pretty dramatic and I'm going to be putting on uh, with the duo lash glue. I don't really love this glue that much. I'm just trying to use it up. So I don't really recommend this watery one. It's too watery. But yeah, 
just stick on your lashes. I think with this eye look, dramatic lashes look really good. So whatever um, dramatic, full, fluttery lashes that you have, pop those bad boys on to really make the look pop. And then we're gonna be using these two color pop. The lippy pencil is in BFF2. The liquid lipstick is their ultra satin lipstick in Magic Wand. And the lip gloss is the Lorac lip gloss in Socialites. So I'm just using this combo for my lip. I filled in my entire lips with the pencil, put the liquid lipstick on top, and then some gloss on top of that. And that's how I got the um, lip combo that I got. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you like it. Thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video i do videos on tuesdays and thursdays so i'll see you guys then and until then have a great day slash night everybody bye